Hi, this is Dr. Andrew Chrysler, teaching communication systems at Idaho State University. In this series of videos, I'm going to be discussing amplitude modulators. So what this means is that we're going to be looking at various circuits and devices that can be used to create modulation and also demodulation. If you're looking for a good text to follow along and understand the material, I recommend the Modern Digital and Analog Communication Systems textbook on the right. So in this series of videos, we previously already discussed uh, the beginning of chapter 4.2. We discussed the demodulation and modulation of the double sideband amplitude modulation. We abbreviate this as DSB, SC. And we discussed this in the, the previous videos. We saw how to modulate and demodulate, what this looks like in the frequency domain, and what this looks like as a, the overall process of it. Uh, and we also discussed why it's called the double sideband amplitude modulation due to those uh, upper and lower sidebands that you get when you shift your baseband message MT out to some carrier frequency FC. Now, this series of videos is more going to be focusing on practical devices and circuits that can be used to complete that modulation and demodulation. So to do this, we're going to look at uh, multiplier modulators, nonlinear modulators, and then in of particular interest is this uh, category of switching modulators, which include diode bridge, series bridge, and ring modulators. Lastly, we'll see that it's actually quite simple to turn any modulator into a demodulator. So this is what we will discuss in this set of videos.